What is up guys? Welcome to another video. Today, we are racing this little thing versus this little thing. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good start to, get to the intro. Here, I'm gonna turn around this, the sun looks better. Okay, okay. So if you're new here, this Evo made 515 horsepower on, I believe it's a Dino Jet Dino down at English Racing. It's got a fully built short block, stock head, ETS kit with a 6266. That's the gist of it. Obviously the fuel system's done as well. Uh, pump gas. Like I said, stock head, stock cams, stock valve train, all that shit is stock. Yeah, made 515 horsepower and like 360 torque. And then we have this SDI over here. And look at this damn stick he's got on here. Heck <laughs> yeah. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> all right, bro, what's all the end of this thing? Uh, we got stage three short block running a GTX 3076R turbo, uh, 38 millimeter wastegate, 1300 cc injectors, name AEM 320 fuel pump. Damn. It's got a bigger feel pump than me. Yeah, it's ready to go, man. <laughs> How much horsepower did it make? 410 on tier one's dyno to the wheels. Oh, 410? 410. Shit, yeah, I better beat you. Yeah. Better beat him. They say their dyno runs 20% lower, though, so we'll see. Yeah. But then again, your car's way lighter. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too, is you have more weight on that. Yeah, idea. mine's about as What does this weigh? Like 32? Yeah, 3200. So that's like 400 pounds lighter than mine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll see, man. Yeah, we'll see. Yo, bro, it's Devin. Uh, so I was headed there and with the Evo and my fucking check engine light came on. Oh, so my. yeah, I'm like, I'm headed back to the house right now to scan it because I don't want it to be anything major. What could it be? I have no clue. It's gonna say cylinder two is broken. <laughs> Shit. Alrighty, so we have oxygen sensor circuit. No biggie. I don't care about, I mean, it's very essential to a good running car, but still gotta send it though. Honey, then do not yell when you break your car trying to race this thing. Devin's crazy. <laughs> Yo, I'll be there in like 10 minutes. It was just the uh, O2 sensor code. So I just uh, cleared it. Okay. But yeah, right. I'll be there in like 10. All right, I did one pull on the way here. First pull was like 19 PSI. Oh, boy. Which I'm supposed to be yeah, like 26. 26. Yeah, the second pull is fine though. So I don't know what's going on. My AFR is fucking all over the place. God, bro, I fucking hate this tranny. <laughs> it's tranny? Yeah, oh, it's just fucking driver error. I was trying to shift really fast and it locks you I out. I missed second gear on the first one. I heard that, yeah. I was bouncing at about 6700. Yeah, I heard that shit. <laughs> Well, buy me a new training at Christmas. 
How do you think Shade's races went? You want me to be honest? Yeah. Okay, so yes, it was a terrible race. Bruh. Um, not only did Devin not get into fourth gear at all, um, he got kind of cranky. Seriously, what the fuck is wrong with this car? I got really pissed. I have a serious question. Answer truthfully. Okay. Do you think my car is a pile of shit or do you think I just really suck at driving? Um, I think it's your car, 100%. I don't think your car is a pile of shit, but I just <laughs> think <laughs> that the transmission is shitty. So, you heard Bobby. Car did not go into fourth gear one single time today. Guys, if the race is over, you can skip through all this bullshit if you want. Uh, it's just me kind of talking about the race, and there's so many polls that we did that I didn't include in the race just because it, it was pointless to include, where I just completely missed the gears. And then he started cussing a lot. Holy shit. You, maybe I'll throw one little clip in. I literally smashed into no, one of the gears, don't. and then I just, it missed the gear, and I literally just beat my fucking shifter. Babe, stop. I was like, punched it as hard as I could. I was pissed. Anyways, I was been I've been doing a bunch of research online. Um, there's a few things that could be. Num the first thing I noticed is in fourth gear when my my shifter's in fourth gear, it's like super loose. So I think I have some sort of either worn out bushing or like broken bushing or something. So I'm gonna go ahead check all that out tomorrow or sometime this week. And then one thing I've noticed a lot of people are talking about online, especially Jack's transmission, is making sure your clutch isn't dragging. Basically what that means, like when you're racing somebody, if you're at 8,000 RPM, which is what I'm shifting at, and my clutch isn't disengaging all the way, it's not releasing all the way, or I guess it would be enga engaging all the way, excuse me, um, that is basically not letting me into the next gear because it's not engaging all the way. So you have to adjust the clutch pedal properly to allow for the clutch to engage more. The car we raced, his name's Alex. Bro, if you're watching this, your car hauls ass. I know it only made 410, 410 at the wheels on, I think it was a different dyno though, and he said it read, it's reading a lot lower. Um, and that car weighs like 400 pounds less, but I think if we could both shift properly, I'd pull on him a little bit, just because I'm 100 more horsepower, but that thing still hauls ass. It's a fast car. It is a fast car. Damn fast car. Devin. Yeah? Throw away the Evo and buy a GTR. Like R32 GTR? Newest one. R35. You tripping. If you want to see how I'm going to go about diagnosing this issue, subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel. If you like Bobby, subscribe to my channel and her channel. If you like me, unsubscribe from her. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.